an exam question here that tests the making of a standard solution. So there's the question there. So if you want to pause the video, have a go at the question and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So we'll do the calculation first. So the first thing we've got to do is work out how many moles of the magnesium nitrate crystals are needed to go into the solution. So moles equals concentration times volume. But remember that volume needs to be in decimeters cubed. So it's 0.4 times 0.25. So we need 0.1 moles of the crystals. To work out the mass of crystals needed, that's moles times MR. So it's 0.1 moles times 256.3. So we need 25.63 grams of these crystals. So moving on to the method, first thing you would do is using a two decimal place balance. Really important that you mention that because you've worked out 25.63 grams. So using a two decimal place balance, you'd weigh out that mass of crystals. Normally that would be done in a small beaker. Next thing you would do is dissolve it in a small amount of distilled water, or you could say deionized water, but you can't just say water. You'd have to specify the type of water that you're using. You then transfer that to a 250 cm cubed volumetric flask, not a conical flask, a volumetric flask. And then typically you would rinse out the beaker that you dissolve the crystals in and you would add the washings to the volumetric flask. You then make the solution up to the mark, so the graduation mark that's on your volumetric flask, you'd make it up to the mark so that the base of the meniscus sits on the line and you could add, if you wanted to, that you'd use a dropper when you get close to the line. And then the final thing you would do is just put a stopper in the volumetric flask and shake it to mix thoroughly.